What's up, Raft gang? Welcome back to another unboxing video. Now, this is going to be a really awesome unboxing. This is a home theater unboxing. I don't get a lot of home theater products in the Raft Cave, but uh, this is pretty special. This is going to be a new receiver, a new AVR from Denon. Now, I did a Denon reaction video a few days back. Be sure to check it out because I talk about all the new Denon AVRs that are coming out this year and next year. And I think finally the, these receivers have now hit the mark where receivers were three years ago before the pandemic. Where I'm saying all the features are there, all the HDMI ports are ready to go. Now with the HDMI 2.1 protocol and all the specs of what HDMI 2.1 can do, all these receivers have been limited with a couple, three, or maybe four inputs and not fully realized in the entire back of the panel. But now with Denon, all HDMI ports are full 8K 62.1 certified. And finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief that I don't need to have HDMI 2.1 sp splitters and switchers anymore because this is truly the heart of all your needs for all the high-end devices that you're getting from gaming and in the future. Pretty excited. This one, uh, this one's pretty awesome. This is the AVR X 3800. Here she is in all her glory. Picked her up this morning. Now, if you watched my birthday stream yesterday, I went through a, uh, a live auction of my old Onkyo 7100, which did very well, did very nicely. There were a few things I didn't like about it, uh, namely the HDMI ports. Uh, but uh, it's it's going to a nice home. It's going to a good place. I'm, I'm sure you're sure they'll love it. But for me, I need a little bit more in the HDMI area. And I believe uh, this one definitely fits the bill. Uh, so yeah, to my surprise, it was available today for pickup. And uh, God picked it up. So here it is, guys. The box is pretty uh, pretty standard stuff from Denon. Since 1910, they've been around. I mean, I... Denon was one of my first receivers, my first AVRs, and I'm, I'm very, very happy to have it back. Back to where it all began. This is awesome, guys. So let's go through a little bit of specs here. Uh, I think the best way to go would be uh, to do a top-down view. Let's do that right now. Let's look at this. All right, it's got my fish eye out. For my, for my camera above. Get out of here, piece of paper. Yeah. Okay. Look, just look at these, look at all these symbols right here, guys. This fills everything. Dolby Atmos, IMAX DTS, DTSX, RO 3D, IMAX Enhanced. Got the Odyssey XT32, Odyssey LF, LFC. Dirac, guys, Dirac. Dirac and Odyssey together. Now, Dirac is going to be a next year, 2023, software update, paid update. I'm pretty sure it might be uh, between 100 and 200 bucks. I'm not sure, but it's going to be pretty big. But it will, I'm pretty sure it will do the four independent subwoofer outputs calibrated, which is awesome. HDMI 2.1 fully, 8K, HDR, HCCP 2.3, Dolby Vision, HDR 10+. For Samsung users. This is new. Sony's 360 reality audio. That's a really nice thing for uh, some high end uh, 360 music. MPEG H audio. Not sure what that is. Multi zone, of course. Network compatible. EOS built in. Awesome. Now I do have a Marantz 7705 processor in the main home theater that I use EOS on with Tidal. Now I can flip on the app which receiver I want, which is awesome because the Akio didn't have that. I res audio rune tested not sure what rune is amazon music hd amazon music is very good guys it's very good deezer don't have that i heard radio i do have i love that don't have napster pandora i used to have but you know it's free free for that sirius xm soundcloud spotify of course and title now title does have the three 360 audio uh format as well as dolby atmos as well so that's going to be very nice together here tune in Alexa, of course, and Google. And uh, what is this Josh? Not sure what the Josh is. Works with Apple AirPlay, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, of course. 
And uh, this is awesome. 9.4, guys. Nine channels built in. Four subwoofer outputs. This is the first of a receiver to have four independent subwoofer outputs. That's crazy. That's that's awesome. Just awesome. AK, of course, it's got 105 watts a channel. That's plenty for me. I have I have what's uh, Infinity uh, Kappa, Infinity Interludes uh, speakers in my area, all bookshelves. So that's plenty of power for me. Uh, heels built in. I love that. Uh, so 105 watts, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Atmos height virtualizer, DTSX, all that good stuff. Compatible with Dolby Vision and 4K 120 with VRR, ALLM, eARC compatible, of course. Six HDMI 2.1s, up to 40 gigabits per second. You know me and that, that 48 gigabit stuff, don't need it. 40 is plenty. 8K scaler, 11.4 signal processing, guys. So if you do want to add a two-channel amp, you can go the full-blown uh, 744 setup if you want with a two-channel amp. Uh, Odyssey, of course, Bluetooth, got all stuff. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Dirac is optional, upgradability, phono input, and all that. Oh, man. This hits all the bases, guys. It's amazing, and I am so thrilled. So thrilled to have this one. All right, guys. Let's open this up here so you get a little view. You know what time it is, guys. Black pin. Oh, yeah. Cutting the seal right now for my raft gang. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Denon app. Got to download that Denon app. And the Heos app, of course. Oh, yeah. Boom. Crispy cardboard box. Open it up real nice. Quick start guide. FM, AM antenna, Bluetooth antennas. Two of them you would screw in the back of the receiver. They give you that nice... Uh, Thicker layout of all your your speaker wires and HDMI ports as well. Very nice. Probably a warranty card in there. You're gonna have your your uh, cardboard tripod. You want to set yourself up a tripod while you're calibrating. But I would recommend getting a, a real tripod so you have a little more flexibility and height and longer arm. Odyssey calibration mic. Pretty sure it's the standard puck we all know. Well, not the puck, a little tri triangle thing or a little tower deal. Yeah, it's still the same tower. Same tower. Power cord, standard stuff. No ground. No grounding plug on it. That should eliminate any grounding, grounding buzz you might get in the background, which you all hate about the grounding. And uh, this is your remote. Uh, it's, I don't think it's, is it a light up? Uh, I don't think so. Not a light up remote. So there's that. And then we have the, uh, two AAA batteries. All right. Take these out. And uh, here we go. Lifting out a new AVR. Oh, yeah. Nice, heavy one side, of course, where the amp is. Beautiful. And there's the bottom. Let me flip the camera around, guys. Are you guys ready? Uh, ooh, that is a pretty, pretty back. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, a new electronic smell. Hmm. That's a distinct smell. If you're a home theater enthusiast, unboxing sweet electronics is that new technical smell. <laughs> Ooh, looks good. Clean top. 
Sides are great. The back, of course, is beautiful. Let's look at the front. Oh, sweet. Check that out, guys. You know, I might actually leave these stickers on. I think I will leave the sticker on. That's pretty, man. I like it. It's got that aluminum brushed metal look in the front. That's what really sells it. I love it. Oh, this back is glorious, man. Holy crap. I love the sticker. IMAX Enhanced. This, all the features, man. 9.4, 11 channel processing, 8K video, 4K 120 VRR. All that right in front. Three year warranty. Three year warranty. Warranty guys Amazing well guys here is the unboxing of this incredible brand new AVR from Denon. I Love it all the 2.1 ports in the back fully assignable and three outputs I'm hoping it works out for me three outputs is perfect Well guys, thanks for watching if you enjoyed this unboxing smash the like let people know get more people in here and get uh get the word out that this thing is amazing this is out i'll leave a link in the description below if you want to pick yourself up one it helps me out tremendously helps the channel out and you get yourself an amazing receiver that i'm pretty sure you're going to be thrilled to have this is awesome this is really really great i love denon denon's always been a soft spot in my heart and i'm really glad it's back in the raft cave awesome awesome well, guys, um, next video, after I plug in all my numerous speaker wires and HDMI cords and I got to get rid of all these switchers and splitters and all these things, I'll do a video where we look at the screen and go through the menu setup of this uh, new AVR here. So awesome, guys. Home theater rules. You know this. And this is a beloved addition to the Raft Cave. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and see the next one. Home theater rules. Boom. Done it. Boom. 2.1 fully maximized. Raph out. See ya.